guys are busy, but I need mm -hmm. some advice. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. It's Steve and Laura time. Let's go. Come on. You got some decisions to make, huh? Sure. I assume it's about your double proposal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just can't decide between Stefan and Steve. Mm. You're kidding, right? <laughs> no, actually, it's a much harder decision than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. You're kidding, right? Oh, Carl. <laughs> For real. Stefan is handsome and sophisticated. Yes, yeah. he's a top model and makes a lot of money. Stefan would make a great husband. Any girl would be lucky to have him. We got to pause. You know I got to pause. You know I got to. She's going, Laura's going to get up against her logic and her heart. And so that's why she's in this place. Her And her, her logic tells her, remember, Stefan is the logical choice, right? But her heart is telling her something different. But what I also find interesting is that all the reasons that the parents are given, I'm almost like, do they know that the real Laura is starting to stand up and those superficial things don't matter to her anymore? But they're throwing all these superficial reasons at, at Laura as to why she should marry Steve, uh, uh, why she should marry Stefan. It baffles my mind. And then there's Steve. <laughs> oh, now there are many wonderful things about Steve. Absolutely. Name one. Wow. What do you love about Steve? Yeah, what do you... Well, he's sweet and he's gentle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he makes me laugh. Mm -hmm. And he's really smart. Mm -hmm. And you know, one day I think one of his crazy inventions might change the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If he doesn't blow it up first. <laughs> wow. Carl, quit hating. Come on, quit hating, Carl. Gee whiz. Mom, what made you say yes to Dad? Mm. Well, that's easy. I loved him with all my heart, mm. and I felt I couldn't live without him. Oh, that was good advice. That was good advice. Look at Steve. Steve, take one down at a time. It's not Lego, Steve. Take one down at a time. It's okay. Steve trying to get up out of there, though. Look. Hey, Steve. Goodbye, Laura. Mm. Where are you going? Moscow, my thanks. Mm. Russia? Why? I'm going to visit my parents. Mm. Oh, did they know you coming? Heck no, that gave them a 15 hour head start. <laughs> right, right. How long will you be going? <laughs> Forever. Maybe longer. Mm. I'm sorry, y'all. Look, we go, we're about to go to the school with Stephen Laura right now because this is just so deep. Do you realize that Laura said, How long will you be gone? And Steve said, Forever, even longer. Remember when Steve used words like forever? He was saying he would wait for Laura forever. So just peep game on that. What's going on? Why are you leaving? Oh, Laura, I feel so foolish. The other night when I proposed to you, it was very kind of you not to laugh in my face. Steve, why would I do that? Eve went and talked to Carl about asking for Laura's hand in marriage. Carl laughed, you know what I'm saying, all the way up to upstairs, laughing in Steve's face. So that was the first negative seed that was planted. And now what Steve is doing is you see Carl and, you know, uh, um, you know, the stand in Harriet and Steve is picking up the vibe, not from Laura, but from the others in the house that's caused him to have this doubt. Come on. There's no comparison between Stefan and me. Mm. It's like getting a proposal from Brad Pitt and then five minutes later getting another one from Mr. Bean. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Paints a picture. Don't be so hard on yourself. I took your proposal very seriously. You did? I sure did. Thank you, Laura. Morsel. Mm -hmm. I'm sipping borscht at Starbucks in Red Square. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Steve, listen. You listen, sweetheart. Stefan is the man for you. With him, you'll live an exciting, glamorous life. Mm. And you'll be with a handsome man who never falls down. <laughs> <laughs> Right. But Laura, is, you can tell Laura is trying to tell him, you know, what it is that she picked him. She wants to be with him. She loves him. And so it, you, you, you've gotten this kind of frustration going on now. Steve, what can I possibly offer you compared to that? Mm. A modest existence in a tiny apartment playing with test tubes and cheese? When has Steve ever thought he wasn't enough for Laura? When has he ever thought? Steve, but... How can you just leave? You told me you love me. I do love you. Hold on, before he goes into one of the greatest lines in TV history. You see what I'm saying, right? Laura was going to tell Steve that she wants to be with him. But now Steve is coming with this other stuff. And Laura's like, she's confused. Like, what are you doing? Like, what, what is this? What are you doing? 
and she doesn't understand why he's doing it, you know? And so it's just bringing this confusion slash frustration in her. I adore you. Mm hmm I worship the rain that waters the grass that grows on the ground you walk on. Woo! All I've ever wanted to do was make you happy. Mm. Well, the only way I believe I can do that is if I step aside. Mm. Mm. Oh, boy, you see the way he just looked at her in her eye. Stay, stay in love with this eye contact, boy. It's on another level. They don't know where else to look but in each other's eyes. Goodbye, Laura. Oh. Uh. I do have one favor. What? Ask of you. One small favor. What, Steve? What? Remember me. Oh. Oh. Dart to the heart. Dart to the heart. Oh, gosh. Okay. Steve, wait. You, you can't just leave. Mm -hmm. Why not? Because. Because I can't imagine my life without you. Mmm. That's powerful, Laura. What are you trying to say? Mm. Well, I'm saying that I love you and mm -hmm. I want to marry you. Oh. Oh. Oh, I, yeah, oh okay. Let me get my emotion. Y'all, I'm not even being fake. This episode gets me every time. It just gets me all of my emotions. You know, but... Uh, okay. What we just saw when, when Laura said... I can't imagine my life without you. It's actually very powerful. And most of you guys, or if whoever it was was saying that to you, that would have been enough, right? You know, he's, Steve, you can't just leave. Why not? Because I can't imagine my life without you, right? That's a full statement right there. Steve goes on to say, what are you trying to say? And this is what I've been saying all along for the, when they were 13 to now. Steve is there to challenge the core of Laura, right? He's there to make the real Laura please stand up. And so that's not enough for him. What are you trying to say? That's not enough. She has to go deeper because he needs the real Laura to stand up. And she's standing up though, y'all. She's standing. Uh, <laughs> I'm emotional. She do? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yo, I'm just saying. Do y'all see how she said yes? Like, yes. Like, I've been trying to tell you this. <laughs> you know when you think you lost something and then you find it, huh? <laughs> uh, you know, the wordplay that Steven, I mean, I almost want to give, I mean, this was so many years ago, guys, but I almost want to give Steve, uh, Jaleel and Kelly a standing ovation right now. Like, what? Like, the the acting in this is, oh my, I just, I don't even know how to fathom it. You know, and what I, the sidebar, this is going to be a long one, y'all. I'm sorry, it's going to be a long one. But what amazes me about their chemistry is like when you've been doing it, when you've been doing this, you know, acting thing and, and playing these parts, for so long, for nine seasons, usually people start to get stale. Like, I, I'm trying to figure out how, how did Kelly and Jalil's chemistry not only not get stale, but get better. Like, it, that's that's not normal. That's special about this moment, guys, is in this moment, Laura was sure about their future and Steve wasn't. Think about that. Which caused this beautiful interaction that only Steve and Laura can do. The only <laughs> Jalil and Kelly can, can pull off. Right. But that's what it that's what it caused is like Laura under Laura knows. Right. She she knows like what it is, what she wants. Steve is now in this place of doubt. Steve is now doubting her future. Steve is now even willing to bow out, you know, move on. Well, move away, at least, you know, and I think that is what is so beautiful about this moment is that all these years, Steve was the one. It was like, no, I know it's going to be me and you. I don't care what you say to me, to my face. It doesn't matter. Never, ever, ever. I don't care, Laura. I threw your never, ever's in the trash. I don't really care. I know what it's going to be, right? This is so much. But the other thing I really wanted to point out is when you, Laura used... Ugh, this is why I love Stephen and Laura so much, y'all. Yeah, they, They're on the same page when they don't know they're on the same page. But if we go back and look at this clip here. I also don't know if I can picture my life without one. Very quick clip. You saw that, right? What did Steve say? I can't picture my life without Laura. What did Laura say here to Steve? I can't imagine my life without you. You guys, if you go back and look up picture or imagine 
and go look up the synonyms <laughs> with those words, you're going to find both those words. So if you go look up imagine pictures under the synonyms, if you go look up the word picture, imagine is under the, is, is, you know, is under the synonyms. So it's like they're using the same word play, but in a different way, which is, which again, I told you, Stephen Laura, Steve is smooth with his words, but so is Laura. Laura is very smooth. She's very smooth with her words too. But I just thought this was just so beautiful. And like I said, that, that little interaction that Stephen Laura had when, when Laura said, I can't imagine my life without you. And Steve said, what are you trying to say? That right there in a nutshell is their whole journey. Why Steve is there. Do all that. She doesn't want to be vulnerable. She don't want to put her heart out there on front street. She doesn't want to do all that stuff. But now you she about to lose, Bubba. You know what I'm saying? She's about to lose the Earth Man. The, the real Lord, you know, stands up. And this this was just absolutely oh, this was absolutely just beautiful, guys. Oh my gosh. Love God, love people. May God bless you, may God keep you.